In 1964, director Kaneto Shindo and a small crew of artists get together and went to a very isolated part of Japan in a specific movie location and build the sets in order to put it together a original screenplay story by Shindo based also in a very famous classic Japanese fable. Hello folks, I'm Daniel Nobri. For this presentation, we're gonna be talking about Onibaba and how much I'm happy to see a nice upgrade from the Criterion Collection to a Blu-ray edition of this film. So please, I invite you to stay with me because we're just gonna talk about the film without giving up the end of the film in case you haven't seen the film. Let's talk about Onibaba because this is Cinemi. I'm your host, Daniel Nobri. Welcome to Cinemi. For the fans of the Criterion Collection, international films, independent films, and American classics. Please subscribe and enjoy this channel. The story tells basically what is going to be about three characters. Let's try to situate more or less what is going to be about this film. There is a civil war going on in the early century in Japan. And some families are starving in absolutely poverty. And this is the case of these two ladies living together. So then we have the old woman and the young woman living together. The old woman had a son and his name was Kichi. Kichi left the house heading to war leaving behind his mother and his wife. And he departs to war with his friend Hachi, that we're gonna see later on in the film. So the two ladies now are by themselves, by no means making any kind of money. The soil is no good. There is just a lot of this tall grass and they cannot make any sort of living. So the way that they decide to make a living, it is to killing samurai soldiers and taking them all their belongs and later on they're gonna sell and what they do with the body you're gonna see in the scene they're gonna dump the body in this big hole that you see in the entire film okay i don't want to give it up much about what it's gonna be all about but this is the beginning the film when you see what these two ladies are doing to survive so in other words the act of killing in that case is a matter of surviving. The director, Kaneto Shindo, tried to make that clear because the screenplay of this film is based on his original story for the film. And he decided to shoot the film in widescreen and black and white. He got a chance to do in color, but he preferred to do in black and white because at the end, uh, this story also is going to incorporate elements of supernatural and for that matter is more effective and I agree with him horror films in black and white has a certain power that color films sometimes give it away because there is an aura of mystery and the beauty of the images that compose also tension and fear and black and white works very well for that certainly the second part of the film starts when we got introduced the final third character of the film, which it is Hachi. Hachi is the friend of Kichi. They both went to war, but only he comes back. And we will learn what happened with Kichi in the process because now he's hungry. He just came in the island. So as soon as he's got acquainted with the situation, Hachi tells the story what happened to Kichi during the war and he started approaching his friend's wife in a very sexual innuendo, sparkling a jealousy from the old woman that needs the young woman in order to eat and survive. It is at that point that the movie triggers sexual tension leading to something else that we're gonna learn towers to the end of the film. That's the moment he meets the old lady and the young woman. And then he's got inside and he's gonna tell the story what happened to Kichi and how come he escaped the war and not Kichi. So, at this moment that he flirts, start flirting immediately with the one young woman, 
or Kitty's wife, something starts to develop from there. Little by little and gradually, we're going to start having some sexual innuendo that will start triggering a jealous on the old woman. Finally, the third part of the film will be a presence that will shift the behavior, especially the older woman that we eventually we get jealous of the relation between Hachi and the young woman and that will change the story. And that's the point that I'm not gonna talk about when the Japanese fable takes place. And then the director will conclude the story with the fable as well connected with his own original screenplay. It's fascinating, I'm not gonna spoil for you. I want that you get surprised and watch the film. The director casted his own wife, the fantastic Nobuko Otawa as the woman, Kei Sato played Hachi, and the young woman is played by 22-year-old Jitosuko Yoshimura. Now look at what the lady is gonna do. They're gonna drop the bodies after they take all the belongs out. They're gonna just dump the body in the hole. The hole is another important part of the film. They just discard them. And uh, for them, it's another day of work. And it's a matter of survival. And director Kaneto Shindo really makes uh, uh, a remark that this is important. We cannot really necessarily condemn what they're doing. Number one, because it's during war, so anything goes. It is a civil war, so we, morally, we can say if it's right or wrong once that they use the belongs that they have in there to exchange for food. So it's a matter of survival, essentially speaking. And also, I must call your attention for the mood of the film that is represented by the wind and the grass. The beautiful cinematography is by Kiyomi Kuroda that incorporates and creates a very interesting special visual effect just with the movement of the wind and the grass. Now the new Blu-ray will come with the audio commentary from 2001 featuring Kaneto Shindo, the actors Kei Sato and Jitsusuko Yoshimura, which is the young woman in there. The interview from 2003 with Kaneto Shindo. About this interview with director Kaneto Shindo, which I strongly recommend that you check it out. It is from 2001, and when this director that directed 48 films, including The Naked Island, Coroneco, also part of the Criterion Collection, both films, A Last Note, and his first film was Children of Hiroshima. He also wrote 238 screenplays. It's just amazing, I strongly recommend. He worked with director uh, Mizoguchi at the beginning when he was 22 years old. Check it out this documentary, and I'm sorry, this interview with him is absolutely enlightening and he tells a lot of course about the filming process in Onibaba as well and the audio commentary that will come he talks with the actors about how was for him the experience working with them and making the film then do not miss the super 8 film footage behind the scenes recorded by actor Kei Sato he shows the casualty of the filming process and uh, the location, how difficult was, everything it is in this special. And to finalize, of course, as you continue watching Kei Sato's filming on the, on the sets of Onibaba, how difficult it was every time there is a rain, the struggle and all, but it was all well worth it because the film is sensational. Uh, don't forget also the Blu-ray cover illustration is different by Edward Kinseya. And the DVD, all the art cover that you see in the DVD that you saw in this presentation, all the animation footage, the drawings is by Lucien S. Y. Jiang. Absolutely great. I strongly recommend this film. I can't stress enough how much I love the film for the first time. You know, it stays with you and it's so strong and so simple at the same time. 
and it really makes you think about life. Good things that I do, good things comes to me. Bad things that I do, evil things also will come to me. I think that's the kind of moral tale right here, more or less, without spoiling, because you really got experience the film to understand what I'm talking about. And Onibaba will be available for the first time on Blu-ray on October the 5th. It is part of the Criterion Collection and the spy number it is 226. Thank you to my loyal subscribers. I can't thank you enough. If you're not a subscriber and if you like the content of this channel, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be very happy to have new members and talk about movies the way that I like, the Criterion Collection films, the international films, documentaries, animation, you name it. Um, I'll be back. Thank you very much for watching it. And don't forget to check it out, Tony Baba. It's such a great movie. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Okay, my name is Daniel Nobri, and I see you all in the next review. Goodbye.